Hey, this is Roger from PistolSnipe.com and on this video I'm going to see if I can apply a Talon grip to an XDS, which is I guess you consider it a, a Mod 1. It's not the Mod 2. It is the one that has the uh, kind of the cheese grater, as they call it, uh, grip on it. Seems like they've uh, taken that away in the Mod 2 grip zone uh, style weapon. And what I've got here is a Talon grip. It's a wrap around uh, adhesive stick on and you uh, use a hair dryer or heat gun and your hand to kind of mold it in place. Now the um, the instructions are here. They're pretty clear. Uh, they want the weapon field strip to make sure that it's empty and uh, makes it a little easier to handle too, I guess. Uh, test fit the grip uh, to the uh, to the, the you know the Talon grip to the XDS grip or whatever weapon it is and check for proper fit. Now the XDS does have multiple size back straps and I have the largest on here, so no trimming is required. There are some lines on the uh, talon grip to trim it to if you have the, either the medium or the small back strap in place. And of course, you want to make sure that it lines up. Uh, this has a particular cutout to see the little XDS logo. And uh, actually, there's, a, there's a, you know, a cutout you want to make sure and be careful of uh, for the mag release so it doesn't interfere. And then around the bottom of the magazine well, it should fit there. It uh, actually is cut pretty precisely. So you check that all out. And what we're going to do, uh, now I have already used the alcohol prep pad that came with it. And they uh, said that you need to have it, make sure it's uh, all dry. Use rubbing alcohol only and uh, make sure that it's all dry before you start. And peel it off and stick it on and heat it up a few times and grip it. Uh, they say heat it up to the warmth of a warm coffee mug. So that's what we're going to be doing here. I'll uh, change the camera here in a second and we'll get to work. I'll show you what we've got. Okay, here you can see uh, the instructions that come with it. Uh, this is a sticker, I guess. This is the alcohol prep pad and this is the uh, talon grip itself. And for like the test fit, again, you want to make sure that it wraps around. And you can see here, hope I can show that, it has got to, it is notched to match up to the notch on the firearm. Uh, match those notches up and it does, uh, they are supposed to touch in the back and not overlap. And you can see if it's done properly here, there is uh, there's a cutout there for the mag well. That's just a little bit of that cheese grater through. Then you can see the uh, XDS logo in there. So that's what we're gonna do here. Well, I have never done this before, so we will try not to louse it up, especially not uh, on camera. It does have, uh, as I say, that notch right there, it's cut out. We want to make sure it's up high enough. Uh, it's not going to be in the mag well. Then as you apply it, of course, you have to make sure and you don't want any air bubbles left in there either. This would be kind of nice if they had a center mark. It might help. I don't know.
Well, it does touch in the back. Seems to be fairly uh, fairly straight. The ends are matching up. Not that I have any experience in these, but uh, experience in life tells me that the spot where it matches up and back is going to be one of the most critical areas to make sure it does stick well. Trying to adjust it just a little bit. Make sure it matches up like it's supposed to. All the uh, the slices for the grooves and everything. Now again, they kind of recommend uh, starting at one end and wrapping it around. Uh, it's not exactly the way I felt comfortable doing it, but that's the way they recommend doing it. So uh, I'll just tell you that's the way they recommend doing it. I think, uh, I think it came out about the way it's supposed to. Now it says do not heat more than 130 degrees, which is that warm cup of coffee test. Uh, I don't know how in the world you'd ever guess it was 130 degrees. Do not go over 130, whatever that is. So. Um, just trying to make sure it's all pressed down and pretty much in place where I want it. It's not a hundred percent perfect. I think you can move it just a little bit prior to heating it. But again, it's clear of the mag. It's clear of the mag well, clear of the magazine release. So we're going to try to heat it. Got my old trusty worn-out hair dryer here that still gets hot. That's all it needs to do, I guess. Okay, and while it's warm, you're to take it and form it, you know, with your with your hand. Press the grip firmly into place. Make sure it conforms. And then you have to repeat. So make a special note to uh, do all the outside edges. Repeat this several times, so whatever that is, three at least, I guess. And I would say, based on this experience, that either a good hair dryer or a heat gun would probably be optimal. Okay, here we have it. It's all uh, it's all done. And again, as I say, they recommend starting in the back and wrapping around. I tried that, didn't like it. But if you deviate from the instructions, you're you know that's up to you. Which for me, it was up to me. I'm very happy with the way it came out. I uh, did do the uh, the warm and press three times. It seems like that might be enough. I hope it's enough. And uh, again, don't heat over 130 degrees. You can see where the XDS logo shows through. These uh, saved a couple of cheese graters for you. Now, the reason uh, that I did this was simply because if uh, if you've read too much about these, uh, yeah, they've got this is 45, and you have a bit of kick, and that cheese grater doesn't necessarily feel that great. And it's also easy to let it break your grip. And I was told uh, by a number of people that these had helped, and both with the feel of it and with uh, getting better control of it, actually. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm happy with the way it looks. And uh, I've got some links in the description. Uh, you can find it uh, at Amazon. If you do not like it, I'm told that you can get it off without uh, you know, making it really a mess. There's not a lot of adhesive uh, when you do take it off to try to clean off. It doesn't you know, ruin the gun or anything. So. Uh, I've got a link to uh, where you can get it on Amazon, a link to our website, pistolsnipe.com. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. Visit our website. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.